I just woke up one morning and said, I've never been to Egypt. So I just went. I booked that flight almost three months in advance and I got it really, really cheap. It was 900 bucks from Wenatchee to Cairo in return. There was 15 people on the plane <laughs> and they were all journalists except me. I was in Cairo, I was right in the square with 5,000 people during the revolution. But couldn't have picked a better time to be there. How much of the protest did you see while you were there? All of it. My hotel was right there. It was only about a half a block off the square. It was like right in the, right in the middle of the whole thing. It was pretty cool. Yeah, there was a little some little stuff going on. You know, you'd hear, oh, I don't know, a couple times when I was down in the square after curfew, and you'd hear gunshots off on the side streets. You kind of go, ah. Eh. Maybe this isn't a really good place to be and I'd get the hell out of there, but 90% of the time it was most of the people were Totally upbeat. They were ecstatic about their revolution They've never had any freedom But it was a I thought it was a fascinating time to be there because In a lot of ways it was like it was like a, the birth of a nation. I mean these guys I mean they're I didn't talk to one person in Egypt, and I talked to everybody I could who spoke English, that had a negative feeling about the revolution. Everybody was really, really positive about it. I mean, my whole concept of traveling is pretty much that there's a lot more good in the world than there is bad. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, if you look at it the other way around, you probably won't have a good time, especially going to places like that. That's my take on it.